G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, are you still using SharePoint and Microsoft Teams more like a glorified file share? Well, in this video, what we're gonna take a look at is how we can use a, a simple feature and functionality of both platforms to provide your users with a better user experience, shortcuts, or links to other locations across the platform but they were shortcuts that were made from File Explorer or Windows Explorer. So, and they were located in a number of different folders. So I showed them how we can create more of a dashboard type of experience and bring that into Microsoft Teams so that we don't have to go hunting through folders for shortcuts to different locations. So let's have a look and see how we can actually just build that out. Now, we can see that I'm in Microsoft Teams here. Now, as we know, at behind this, we've got a SharePoint site where all of our files live. But in addition to all of our files, we have the ability to create news articles and posts and really rich SharePoint pages. So if we go ahead now and create a SharePoint page, and I'm just going to create a page with basic text, I'll just use this template. Now, I'm going to pop this page, well this page is already in edit mode, so I'm just going to delete these sections. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a couple of different sections. So first, I'm going to add a three column section and then I'm going to add a single column. Now, in the single column section, I'm just going to add a simple quick links web part like so. Now, in the section down the bottom, I'm going to use a little bit more of a visual type of approach here and use the editorial cards, all right? So, we've got our smaller links via our quick links up across the top, and then we've got a more visual approach with our editorial card. So, if we just add a couple of links here, now, these could be to anything. Could be to external websites, could be like locations across your uh, existing SharePoint sites, but we can point to anything, all right? So I'm just going to, just for example's sake here, I'm gonna to point to this file. I'll call it India Sales. Now I'm going to use a different icon from our library here. And let's just choose, we'll choose this one here, all right? And we'll hit select. We'll just add another couple of links here. So we'll click add a link. And what we might do is I'll go to site, I'll go to documents, and I'm just going to use our brand elements here. And again, I'll just change the title. And I'll just say sales pitch, I'll go to library, and let's go for presentation, and we'll give that an icon like so. I'll go to add links. Um, and then we'll go to our site again and we'll go to documents. Now this could be from any site, all right? Now just to see what we can do there. Let's go to our Mark 8 project team and we'll go to digital assets web, we'll go to files and here's our product launch PowerPoint. So I'm going to grab a link to that PowerPoint deck and then I'm going to come back to my new, uh, to my sales and marketing and the link that I'm creating here, and I'm going to paste that link in, and I'm just gonna choose from a link, and I'll click add, all right? So now we've got our product launch here, and again, I'm just going to change our icon. Let's just use some smiley faces, and I'll hit select, all right? Let's go for our link dashboard as the name here, all right? So I'm just gonna leave it at three links. Now, I'm gonna pop down here to our editorial card. So let's change our image and let's just go for some stock images here uh, and we'll choose a couple of images, all right? So we'll choose this one and we'll give this a, a headline. We'll go product launch as our title. Now I'm just going to edit the properties of this web part uh, and we'll scroll down. Let's change this to an icon. We'll pop our link in here. Uh, we've now got some hover text. Um, so let's go for presentation as our hover text. And we're just going to leave it like that for this one. And then we'll add the, the next ones across here. So I'm just going to go peeps talking. Um, yeah, we'll copy that to this site and we'll add that there. And then I'm just going to, just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to, oh, and I'll use a button here just for this one. And let's go for uh, how to conduct meetings. 
And the last one we'll do, we'll change our image. We'll go to stock images again. We'll choose a another stock image. Let's just scroll down. We'll choose this one here and we'll insert. And again, we will pop our, I'll use an icon, we'll pop our link in and let's say uh, benefits, all right? And now we've got three editorial cards as links. So I'm now going to, first of all, give this page a title. Let's go for Teams Link Dashboard uh, board page and we will publish this page like so. Nice and easy, SharePoint page, we've now published it, okay? So what we're going to do now is we live in Teams, right? So I'm gonna to go to Sales and Marketing. I'm now going to add a new tab. Now, when I add a new tab, I can choose SharePoint, all right? So rather than having our links hidden in folders and with uh, shortcuts that have been created in File Explorer because we're only using it to access files, we can now actually create a better user experience. So I can choose my Teams link dashboard page and I'll hit Save. Now I've got a new tab inside of Teams. I don't have to leave Teams anymore and I've got a more visual representation and I can update and manage and I've got a central place to now have all of my important links and resources uh, and guiding people to really where they need to go. So just a little bit of an awareness there using the features and functionalities of SharePoint and Microsoft Teams over and above just moving files into channels or folders or document libraries and really creating a, a, a better user experience for your team. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.